guys. So today I'm gonna show you how Leia works in Photoshop. So many people just wondering something about how Leia works in Photoshop. Today, uh, hopefully, you get some like a good clue how it works. So the first time I'm gonna show you my Photoshop, and now here, share my Photoshop screen. And the first time you need to create a new file to open it, this file new open, I'm sorry, create a new file. And then here's a bunch of options to print. And A4 size, normally I'm gonna choose and create now. And now is the foundation is being made. And then now one. So I'm gonna show you how Leo works in Photoshop. As you can see here, like a bottom right corner, just layers. So it's now is the background layers, one only. Now you can see plus easiest way to make a new layer. Just create a new layer you can see. Just create a layer one and create a layer two. And just click it again, layer three. It's either way you can find out top menu from here layer and then click. And you can find out just new, our layer. And you're going to create layer four. Just OK to click. And you want to get now create layer four. OK, just do it again. Just either way, top and down. Just go on the top and a new layer, new and layer. And layer five, OK, you've got layer five. Just either way from the bottom here, it's plus mark. Click create a new layer, layer six. Now I got just expand the field. One, two, three, four, five, six, including background layer. So it's layer one, click. So when you work on a layer, you have to specify which layer is you on. A layer one. And for example, file and open and then find out the image you want to open. I'm going to open this one and just open. And now you get a new image here. And probably the easiest way is here and select all of them. And from edit, just go on the top and just copy. And go to the untitled new file and it create another image. You know, I'm gonna just paste another image, edit and then paste. Now you got a new image on the top of the new layer. And select top castle tool, and then you can click, you can move the image. All right. And now you change layer two, just layer two click. Okay. Now layer two is selected and then just do it again. The file open and click another image and open it. It's being opened now and click here and select all of them. And from the edit and just copy and go back to untitled one and just from edit again and then paste it. Don't forget about I'm already selected layer two. The image is going on the layer two. It's in layer one. Okay. Paste. Now being pasted. I can move it. And as you can see here, this layer one and a two, each has different image. And layer one and a two, each has different image, right? And then as you can see, the I mark here, when you click I mark, you can see invisible. Visible, invisible. Visible and visible. Target layer is layer two. Always you can see layer on the top, all right? If I bring layer two on the top, it is the same body, the sequence is changed. Layer work changed and bring it down to the get back to the where they were. Okay, layer one and two and three, the same goes. Just hit it. As a file and open it and click another image, open 
and just copy and paste. This is exactly the same. Okay, edit, copy, and go back to Untitled, and edit, and paste it. And now is layer one and a two and a three each has different images. Okay, and if I want to change the image size from here. You can edit and free transform and transform and scale rotate something, and then you can change its size. Okay, this is how layer works in Photoshop. Just now, your turn, just try to make it. Okay, I'm gonna stop sharing now. Okay, it's your turn. Just try to make it. Is it okay?